What up, Sushi Squad? We bag him some more Animal Crossing. Excuse me if I look tired, it's because I just woke up. Now, be quiet. Good morning. We've got news and dawn done. This is gonna be really, really exciting, guys, because uh, yesterday, so you know how Mabel ended up showing up? It turns out I was absolutely right in my statement. Uh, as soon as Mariko ended up talking to Mabel, she was saying that she was gonna move in. And then Mariko was able to choose where the shop was gonna go. So, I, I mean, I wish that both her and I could end up being the resident rep. Uh, it is a little bit lame, but it's okay because, you know, we both live together and we're playing on the same Switch anyways. But, oh, geez, I didn't even notice my house has moved. The only thing that's really missing is pass blocks. That's the big thing that I'm really excited for. And then what do we even got in the mail? I don't even remember ordering anything. Oh, yeah, the KK song, a garbage can. Ah, yes, and my gift from Marmar, which I made the mistake of not actually sending to her. Uh, 40,000 points rank S. Your home topped the 20,000 point mark. That's cause, cause for celebration and expect... Excuse me? I kept hearing that my house was gonna be raided, but I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Like, okay. And then Merc sent me something. I want to express my appreciation for all... Oh, it's just the normal... Um, this was an auto-generated message, lol. Uh, okay. Why does it say from Bob? Can you put from whoever you want? I also caught Merc, like, I caught these frogs. I want to give it to him, but I don't think we can mail them. So I gotta, like, I gotta bring them to him in person the next time I get to actually visit his place. But we've been kind of on opposite shifts near as I can tell. Garbage can, the other gift. Uh, what do we got from the house place? Bronze HHH plaque, okay. And a tatami bed? Excuse me? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just throw these down right here. Just because I want to see. Ooh! Okay, that's like a massage bed, so I don't know if I really care about that. And then that, I guess, goes on the wall, so we can't really check that out. Yeah, okay. Uh, give me a sec here, gamers. Alright, I'll put it. Uh, whoopsie daisy, that's the wrong thing. Uh, I'll put it over top of our bed just because I'm curious. Oh, it's just literally a plaque. Okay. God, can I get my YouTube button? Like, come on, man. My, my YouTube play button or whatever. Oh, yeah, it's also Sylvia's birthday today, so we gotta give her a gift and everything like that. Ugh. Uh, I'll put this tatami bed in storage for now. Uh, same with the garbage can, because I'll deal with that in a bit. Uh, I want to show you guys two real quick. I just kind of changed the house around a little bit, not too much. Can you please? KK Malonga. Oh, okay. Weird. But yeah, it's this room I think you guys have already seen, uh, except for those gold gears. That was really expensive to craft because it actually costs gold, and I don't have much gold right now. Uh, I'm also in a mad dash right now because as I'm recording this, it's still early in the morning on Sunday, so we can end up buying turnips. <sighs> we have a lot of things to sell, and I'm going to go broke. Like, seriously. I want to try and make more cuts in these videos, even when I'm just doing the long recording sessions themselves. Uh, but it's difficult because sometimes in editing, I won't catch it uh, just because the volume fluctuates quite a bit. And unless the volume is consistent, uh, I can't really uh, I can't really see it. Anyways, uh, I went on an island and I went crazy catching everything that we could. Caught tons and tons of bugs and stuff like that. Tons and tons of scorpions. The funny thing is that I'm pretty sure this is more than we had the other day. Like, you remember when we had, like, that big old pile of, like, fish and junk like that? This is probably more because it's going to fill out my inventory a couple times. Just when it's all organized like this, it doesn't actually look like there's as much. But I'm going to grab all these up. Uh, we're going to sell them. We're going to check out our shop shops because we should actually have our clothing store as well. Uh, and then I'll give Sylvia her birthday present and we'll see if that actually ends up doing anything for us. Most of these weirder bugs and stuff like that, like some of these are new. I haven't been recording us getting bugs 100% for the first time or anything like that. Because it's basically just, I'll see one on a log or see one on some flowers and stuff like that. It's not really like, ooh, the biggest deal. Okay, that's actually not bad. I like that ship in the bottle and that other thing. Huh. I think that's a candle, like a oil candle, right? If it lights up, then that's really dope. I definitely want to use that. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna be millionaires. I don't want to sell that turtle. I like the turtles. 
But the scorpions, uh, I've mentioned before, those are basically the new replacement to the tarantulas. They literally work the exact same way. You can just make a tarantula island and it's, oh my god. And it's going to end up doing the exact same thing. Like scorpions will just end up spawning. All right, let's take a quick peek at this. I don't necessarily need to buy these on camera, but I want to at least show you guys and share in the experience. None of that's new. That's not bad. I might get that black wall and I might try out this floor and this floor. We'll see. I'm waiting for the opportunity. Uh, I know that we can upgrade the Nook shop and then they have like more items per day. So that could be really cool and exciting, but I'll, I'll sell the rest of the bugs later just so that we can just kind of make a move on today because I know I'm going to have like multiple clips. Oh, it's not even open yet. Well, I guess it's going to take a couple days. That kind of sucks. I thought it was going to show up like right away. Jeez. What is this guy doing in my old yard? I'm so used to like going over here for everything now. Like I, I'm not in the habit of my new home. All right, let me grab all these. One of our money trees is actually finished. Oh, hey, Leaf finally showed up. Oh my God. And there's my hole to actually dig and put money in. Good. Another money tree that I don't have to search. Because most times I do. Um, put this in, bury it in the hole, and I will move this tree to probably just the usual spot. I kind of put my trees over here on this side of the hedge, but all the characters keep talking about Leaf. I think that's her name, right? Yeah. They keep talking about her. She has not been here for like the longest time. So... I, I did like she's only visited once like a long time ago and we didn't know like how cool she was because you can actually get like all types of different flowers and saplings and stuff right not to mention these weird cherry plants and stuff okay okay yeah all right well we're gonna have to buy like a bunch of these jeez louise okay um let me go and get the present for sylvia we'll give that to her and then i gotta find the uh I gotta find the freak that's actually selling the uh, uh, turnips because we gotta buy them like post haste. Oh, dude, they're actually celebrating. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> I was wondering where Samson was. You're late, we're waiting for you. Today is Sylvia's big day, Pipsqueak. Everyone in party flex mode. Heck yeah, brother. Can I give you a present? I'm so stoked you're here for my B-Day. I knew how busy you were, you rock boing. I don't want to be rude, but you didn't bring me anything, did you? Oh, I brought you this. Don't worry. Don't worry, here you go. Yes. I hope she wears it. It's just the space hoodie. I just gave that to her. I almost hate to wreck this, but I gotta see what's in here. Yes, I've had my eye on a space parker for like ever. Okay, cool. Are you gonna actually wear it? I didn't think so. <laughs> I guess that's already it. Did I, did we get like anything for birthday related stuff? Decorated decorator. Okay, that's for getting S rank in our home. Good, because I need more of these nuke miles. Like, geez. Birthday celebration. Oh, okay. So you have to celebrate multiple birthdays of multiple characters to get those achievements. Jesus. Okay, plant hyacinthias and blah, blah, blah. I'll deal with all of that stuff off camera. I can do that myself. Heading home already. Thanks for coming and thanks for the present. You made my birthday rock. Yeah, I'll come back later and visit you more. I just gotta find that stupid turnip lady because I didn't see her while I was wandering around the hub. I know she's here. She's hiding somewhere, that little freak. Unless she just hangs out inside the plaza now, which I very much doubt, but that would be very nice. Otherwise, I might have to ask somebody. Hello? Where's the turnip lady? Do you guys know where the turnip lady is? Because I sincerely need to buy stuff from her. Why am I trying to deposit my money, by the way, when I literally... Oh, there's just a seven days plus. It doesn't just keep chaining. Huh. I thought once we get to like 300 days, you get like 3 billion nuke miles or something, but... I don't know where this freak is, man. But uh, my point is, I need to have money out and in my inventory to actually like buy her stuff because otherwise, yeah. All right, well, I guess I'll just kind of sell the rest of this and go about my day. Okay, so I found her, she's on the beach. I've already bought a bunch anyways, but I'll take a, a million dollars of turnips, please. Oh, hello gamers. It's actually the next day now. 
<laughs> God, this game is eating so much of my time. Uh, so only a couple things to update you guys on. Uh, Mariko and I were playing together, and of course, because she's the representative of the island, she was able to go into the campsite. We talked to Ed, who was this hilarious egocentric horse. I love him. Uh, and Mariko was able to build down a house for him right away, and then Tom Nook was telling us that we can... I think we can actually start placing down houses now to get more neighbors. I think you can have a maximum of 10 or something like that. And then Blathers' Blathers's sister showed up on the island in the middle of the night telling us about, uh, like, shooting stars or something like that. And then apparently Mariko looked online and it's supposed to be something like it increases the odds of shooting stars showing up or something. You literally turn the camera up and press A if you see a shooting star. And then the following day, a very rare resource will be down on your map somewhere. We did not see any shooting stars because we were busy doing other things. And I was spending all night customizing gear. So anyways, it looks like we got some interesting characters in the hub. So let's check this out. I'm actually very curious because the like the clothing store should be open, but I saw another hedgehog sitting in the hub. And I mean, I don't really know too much about it. I just know that there are the Mabel sisters. So maybe this is the sister and maybe we have to get her to move in to have the tailor shop fully upgraded or something like that. I don't know. Okay, but I mean, it should be actually built now. So May the 4th. Oh, yes. Uh, now for today's announcements. I know these videos are like a couple days old, guys. Like seriously, you can see the fact that this one video is taking up two whole days. Uh, Ed has moved in. Cool. Uh, the most wonderful thing happened at Don Don today. The Able Sisters Tailoring Shop opened. Nice. So the tailor shop will have all the fashion items you'd expect, as well as custom design gallery. Good, I can put my custom designs up for you guys. I'm quite proud of them, even though I, I don't know if many of you guys will be excited about them. I basically just made a bunch of my real life clothing. <laughs> Uh, if you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tong Nook and Resident Services for what? For the custom designs? Okay. And then that's all she has to say for some weird reason. Uh, we gotta put down- we put down our bridge yesterday as well. And, ooh, see? See? Isn't it cool? So this is actually, uh, let me see if I can find it. You got it. Yeah. 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 This is- this is actually my real life hat. Uh, that I got from Tokyo and I think I did a pretty good job with it honestly speaking like that's I'm not very good at pixel art or even just drawing in general but I can replicate pretty well uh, and then this hoodie is kind of just a custom thing uh, I just looked up like some pixel art online about like the you know Dragon Ball Z stuff because I got like Dragon Ball Z hoodies when I visited Japan as well I can only fit uh, Saya on the side here can't put Saya Jin we got uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, because Vegeta, ya boy. Uh, this side should be, I'd have to confirm with Mariko, but I think that's the character for, like, strong or power or whatever, so... That's one of them. Uh, also, fun fact, the top of the hat, uh, in this game, whatever you design on the top will actually appear on the bottom as well, but you never really see that on your character anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, also changed my character's eyes, just because I think it looks a lot cu cuter. I've been busy, guys. Like, seriously. I've been I've been doing too many things. So here's another one that's actually very, very similar to my real-life hoodie, uh, where it has the Capsule Cork logo on the front and then a Vegeta on the back again. These are just pixel arts that I found online. Like, again, I, I don't know how to make these types of things myself. But I'm quite proud of all of them. Um, and then I did some Zelda stuff. This one's kind of weird, but I kind of like how it turned out. Uh, the front we got Link holding the Triforce, so it's just kind of like a merch shirt. And then on the back we got like that big fancy Triforce thing. And then the sides, you might not get it, but it's kind of like... I thought that this uh, kind of looked like Ganondorf from Wind Waker, so I like kind of designed uh, the rest of the jacket to fit with that. And then I got some Majora's Mask stuff. This one was pretty hard to do. I tried putting it on a shirt, the mask just did not fit. Uh, and in order to get the effect that I wanted with the hat, I actually have uh, half of the mask is drawn up here while the rest of it is actually drawn on the lip of the cap. Uh, and it was pretty difficult to get the colors to actually like blend in together like this. It's, it's pretty cool though, man. Like it's such a nice tool. It's got so much customization to it. Uh, and then this one's, I don't know. 
kind of a work in progress, but I kind of took another Majora's Mask just from the side so I could actually fit it on a piece. Uh, and then I got the fairies on the back. And you might not notice the detail, but their wings normally would clip under the sleeves. So I had their wings go onto the sleeves as well. I really like Zelda. <laughs> I mean, for crying out loud, I have a gigantic freaking Majora's Mask tattoo like being worked on on my back as we speak. Uh, so anyways, we're going to be rocking my favorite outfit now. This one. And then what else was there? Was there anything else? I don't think there... Oh, well, we got more bamboo, so that's always a good thing. And now we're actually like in the normal days as well. So over here, we got like my turnip. Uh, I'll, I'll probably try and sell those today, if not tomorrow or something. <gasps> we got like a skeleton suit already. Jiminy Jellicers. Whoa. This is exciting, dude. <gasps> Hello. Welcome to the Able Sisters. Well, we sell fashions. Uh, she sound. She looks like an old woman, right? Like that's tailoring. So made lovingly by Claw. Oh, hey, Siochi. Uh, welcome to our. This is my impersonation of an old woman. <laughs> Pretty great, huh? <laughs> We've decided to put down roots here on Don Don and keep selling our clothes and accessories. Here, let me give you a quick tour of the shop. Okay, so when you first walk in, you'll find the recommended items. Uh, we change these up every single day, you know, to keep things fresh. I mean, you change everything up every day. Uh, you'll also find mannequins. They're dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits we're into. We change those up from time to time rather than daily. Still, we hope you'll be inspired. And of course, we see something on the mannequins you love. You're more than welcome to buy it. Uh, which brings us to the back wall. So the back wall is custom designs. Uh, we'd love to display your designs, of course, and if you want any of these designs, they're all, they're yours for free. Heck yeah. Uh, speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays, you'll find our custom designs portal. So the way that this works is you go up to this kiosk that's, uh, behind her. It's kind of the one in the pink. And as far as I know, you gotta use the dodo code, uh, or something like that to get the QR code for the custom design, and then you can download it or something like that. I don't fully understand it but if we don't get into it today i'll leave my dodo code uh in the description so if you guys are interested in any of the stuff that i designed or anything like that uh, i'll also put like my generic i'm still working on slowly adding like my own actual merch but for right now i've just been working on my own wardrobe oh god they close at 9 p.m oh god well that kind of sucks i mean i guess it doesn't matter too much hey we got the jojo outfit <laughs> day one dude that's insane oh and we got the better mask oh heck yeah i've been waiting for this because everybody's been rocking this mask uh i've been rocking like the cheapo one so that's pretty cool i love how the, they just follow you around when you first come to the store like they're so excited that the new store is open and it reflects with them okay so we could get like other custom jojo design ew no thank you we could get the safety outfit Maybe that would be better for our social distancing because I've seen people wearing those in real life, which is hilarious, by the way. The white pants I should probably get. These are kind of... I don't know. They're okay. We got some cool stuff. Oh, God. That looks terrible. But I might have to get it just because we can mix it with so many other things. Oh, my gosh. We can get gold poop on our head. Like, what? Soft serve. Yeah, right. I'm sure that's soft serve. And then other bandit hats. Oh, it actually has like ragdoll to it too. That's interesting. I might buy that one, even if I don't put it on uh, my style or anything like that. Uh, we already have that wig from somebody else. Those are some okay socks. I'm really looking for, yes, there it is. I, these are like my favorite shoes in the game so far. And I really wanted a purple pair. Because otherwise I didn't have a purple pair. Yeah, I think it would fit a lot better with, like, my outfit right now. You see, I'm rocking the purple canvas shoes, and it's just... God, dude, this game is, like... I, I'm i loving this game, but it's, like, the fact that you can customize so much. <laughs> yeah, there's something seriously wrong with me. I'm obsessed with this game. Okay, um... Hello, Bloop. Oh, I guess I should go to, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll talk to the neighbors in my own time. Periodically, they'll give us some free stuff and whatever. I gotta chop down trees. I gotta clear up some rocks and junk like that. I can show you guys Ed, though. Uh, and then we'll end up checking out the shops. And then I'll have to see where we're at on time. We might already 
it might already be done today. We'll see. Um, so Mariko actually got one of these from a slingshot that's been on my house for a while. I don't need that. I might get the speaker. I kind of like that. Because I, I kind of want to work on like a jam space uh, later on. Actually, if I can get all of the same things, like I want to build like my setup that I have right now for all my YouTube stuff. It's just I don't have <laughs> like most of these items don't exist in this game near as I can tell. Like, I don't think you can ever get a gaming PC. I think you can get laptops. Uh, I've seen those in my uh, some friends islands. OK, what do we got here? Modern Shoji screen wall and then Shoji screen. Ooh, I think we have the modern one. Uh, I'll have to double check. But that should be a different one. Ooh, our house should have expanded as well. Get out of the way, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Dude, like that's the that's the thing about this game. It's like you your progress is slow, but you're re rewarded like so much. Like it all pays off, you know? It's awesome. I gotta check my mailbox too. It's funny how like all this series is, is just me checking all the daily stuff. <laughs> that's usually all it is now. Okay, uh, what was it? Modern Shoji wall, right? That was the other one. Yeah, modern Shoji wall. There it is right there. Ooh! Ooh. Well, that certainly brightens up the room, doesn't it? Ah, uh, that one still looks a little bit more chic. I like that. Um, I'm, I can't get to my room here. Oh, I also made uh, Jub and Budge are sitting here building a puzzle. But they can't because they're like tiny little turtles. Okay, I'm going to have to... Yeah, you know what? I'll throw this in storage. Thank goodness we actually are getting a little bit more room. So I'll probably make this into my bedroom. Ooh. I mean, it's kind of small and crappy, but... Aha! See, that's a little bit better already. Um, I might, like... Harmonious wall, maybe? I also crafted like the garbage wall. I'll, I'll show you guys these just because I think they're hilarious. You literally like I fished out so much trash. It's just like, ugh. I really I hate it, dude. I fished out so much garbage that they actually let me craft a garbage wall um, and a garbage floor. <laughs> like, why would anyone? Oh my god, even walking on it makes the sound as we're walking on, like, garbage bags or something. Jesus. Okay, I want that one. Uh, probably just go for the Shoji screen. That's not bad, but I don't like the brick being inside. It feels a little overdone. Maybe I'll put this Shoji wall in the main room? Because it's a bit too bright if this is supposed to be a bedroom, right? But I like the feel of this main room. I, I could also just buy another of the modern Shoji wall. Just because I, I kind of already got like all the colors working with this. But we'll see. We'll see. That, that could be a nice contrast, actually. It does brighten up that room. But I like it being like dark and chill kind of thing. I also I got this rug like a while ago. I just been waiting for an... Oh, 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 ooh. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's my bedroom. I like that. That looks so cool. That looks so cool, man. Um, Yeah, okay. I got a bunch of fish and junk to sell as well. I didn't even think about it. Privacy mask. Yup. And then... Oh, I wanted to give that to Mariko. Uh, I'll also put the rest of this in storage. That means we should also have a lot more storage space, right? Storage goes to 320. <laughs> Do you eventually get infinite storage in this game? <laughs> Problem is, I got so much dang turnips, dude. Like, it's like, I don't... <sighs> like, what am I gonna do with them? I'll never have a place to be able to, like, hold all those turnips. God, I want path blocks. That's the biggest thing. We're gonna also... Uh, Mariko's had this idea for a while where she wants to make this main area over here like this main island kind of be like a downtown area and then over uh this bridge and all around is going to be kind of residential so we're going to end up moving the shops down here eventually where was yeah there it is eh my money tree it finally grew uh where there we go 
Okay, who the heck are you? Kicks. Welcome. Uh, what do we have here? I haven't seen you before. The name's Kix. You might have already guessed it, but I'm the source for shoes, socks, and bags around here. I swing by this island once weekly. I look forward to seeing you around, new chum, all right? All right. I don't know who this is. If it's all right with you, uh, why not take a look and see what my offerings are this fine day? What? Oh, God. Well, Mariko's gonna love those. Zap boots to go with the, uh... Zap outfit. <gasps> oh. Oh. There are so many cool things in here. I don't even, like... I mean, I can buy all of these for Mariko. I know she's gonna want all of them. <laughs> I'll, I'll take this one as my uh, workout bag, and then I'll work on uh, buying the rest of those. I don't want to buy them all right now, but that's... I didn't know there was stuff like that. That's cool. Jeez. All right, uh, neato, dude. I don't know why he won't, like, I, I wish he would move in. I've never seen this guy before on anyone else's islands, but I guess it's not like I'm visiting my friend's islands every single day, so. Okay, so then we gotta just check out Nook. Oh, yeah, you gotta tell me things. Just like that, your home has another proper room, huh? Uh, another upgrade is e to even cushier lifestyle, which brings us to the cost of your remodel. 548,000. Yeah, I'll get on that whenever I feel like it, man. I mean, if I can sell, um... Wait, now that you've made some big improvements to your home, I can start offering customization services. <gasps> this is not about increasing the size of your home, it's about exchanging the look of your home's exterior. Yes! Finally! What we can offer does uh, depend on the size of your home, but you'll pay for customization up front so you can prioritize customizing over home expansion and vice versa. Oh, thank you. Oh, please have the Zen option. That's all I want, dude. Uh, about my home, I, we haven't held any ceremonies for all these buildings that opened up. I want to customize. Customize the house. 5,000 bells? Are you kidding? That's easy. If you... Uh, Place your order now. It'll be ready by tomorrow morning. Good God, this game. I'll show you the design catalog. All right, what do you got? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> this isn't customizing my house. This is just... All he's letting us do is change the roofs and change our mailbox, which... Cool, uh, but that's not what I'm looking for. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that's kind of cool, but that's... Yeah, so I guess we gotta expand our house a little bit more or something like that. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping... I wanted to make my house look like the Zen house or whatever it's called in this game, dude. Like, that's the biggest thing. Alright, uh... I have something to tell you. Okay. You know that we now have a campsite on the island, yes? Uh, well, I've added a new service that lets you invite a guest to said campsite. You can access the service terminal via the nuke stop... Works with Animal Crossing character Amiibos, you're right. So I've heard, uh, like, Cap's been telling me about, like, this site where you can kind of create your own, like, Amiibo on a card so that you don't have to buy them or something. I don't know and I don't care. I'm just saying that Amiibos are expensive, man. I mean, unless I can invite Mario, because I've got a Mario Amiibo, but that's pretty much it, dude. <laughs> also, I am convinced, I could be wrong, Bamboo Fence. Heck yeah. Barbed wire fence. I don't know if I have that one. I know this one I don't have, and I actually really like the looks of this. Like, this actually looks really good. Um, I'm wondering whether or not these Nook items cycle out per week. I I'm not sure. I'm just kind of guessing right now. Um, obviously, it makes it very difficult to see your guys' comments when uh, a series like this is constantly just being recorded uh, more so than... Yeah, okay. Nothing that I need out of there. It's all just the same crap. I hope it cycles out. I mean, that would be exciting. And then... <gasps> I am buying this. I don't need another one of those. And... Clothes are just, honestly speaking, not going to end up being that great. Spring Blossom. Cool. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of neat. I wonder if I could... Eh. It's probably like the Amiibos for Animal Crossing, which, I mean... 
Considering that the Switch is sold out like everywhere, I very much doubt that uh, anybody can get those amiibos because there's way too many freaks that just keep going and going with this game. Like, I love this game, don't get me wrong, but I'm not like that obsessed with it. All right, let's see what we got here. We got quite a few things. Sylvia, thank you for the birthday present. It's just what I would have gotten for myself. I can tell that, uh, that you get me. I decided to get you a birthday gift too, but you know me and patience don't mix. So here it is now. Okay, that's very sweet, but I like how they tell you, like, you don't just, like, what? Look at this. I can throw away her letter. That's so mean. Uh, congratulations to celebrate the new addition in your home. All right. And then Big Top. You got a new room in your house, huh? That's real neat. One more place to snack. Um, I've sent you a gift. Okay. Weird. And then Merc sent me something. This letter costs more than the clam you sent me. <laughs> From Nintendo Games. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> I think I sent him a clam or something. I don't know. I don't remember. But I sent, like, everybody a bunch of items that they wanted. Oh, no. I sent him, like, a log bench or something. Cardigan shirt combo. I do not like it. I'm sorry, I have my own things. Uh, there's our flamenco song. So we'll check that out in a second. Rice cooker. Thanks, I already have one. Simple kettle. All right, I guess I'll take it. And then Merc sent me a train set. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. Dude. I'm gonna leave that in my bedroom. It's gonna be like really annoying. I'll leave it playing all night long. <laughs> no, not really. Oh, Mariko's got one of these. All right, it's not that big a deal then. Uh, if you're wondering what happened to my clothes, that's because the custom clothes actually don't take any inventory space. They just get deleted um, as soon as you end up swapping them out. Cool, dude. All right. Um. Oh, you know what? There's one last thing I wanted to do. One last thing I wanted to do before, uh, I mean, we'll see when this video ends up going live, but there is a May 7th event or a May, I don't know. There's some event going on and I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, I saw Mariko go through it and I really wanted to do it with you guys. Uh, and I have to do it before May 7th because otherwise, uh, it's going to disappear. The May Day ticket. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty cool. It's like a little puzzle island. Uh, so he actually takes away all of our inventory as well for this trip and it's really cool It reminds me of like old Zelda games or something. I, I really just I like the idea behind it and how complex it is So it, it's pretty neat. We only really get I, I think we get like uh, a Furniture item and then some money depending on how well we do on the island, but you guys will see it in a minute It's it's really cool though the whole islands a giant maze Blah, blah, blah. It's okay. Gosling is zero. Uh, rescue service will reset the entire island, uh, which is something we can use in our phone. You can pretty much use that anytime you end up getting stuck. So the whole point is that they've taken away our items, so we have to use the items with which the game has given us. So we got to dig our way into here so that we can eat this. And then see those tickets right there? Those are like 3,000 each, 3,000 uh, bells. So it's not that big a deal if we don't get them. Uh, Mariko, when she was going through it, we thought that she had it, but she was missing one last fruit to break the last rock. Cause the idea is that you gotta get through the whole island and still have three fruit left over in order to get in there and get all the bonuses. So hopefully, I mean, I have an advantage. Uh, I saw Mariko go through it also. Uh, and then these weird holes kind of prevent us from going uh, in certain directions. So, kind of cool. I'm, I'm still not exactly sure how this would work. I'm trying to work it all out in my brain right now. Uh, okay. So if we go this way, I think we'll end up getting a fruit. We're also just barely getting these resources. Uh, and these resources are used so that we can end up crafting um, some other tools because obviously there are um, 
other tools on the island. So that was actually the ax, yeah. And we can use it to chop down one tree. We all, again, I only know this because this is what happened with Mariko. Um, oh boy, so in order to get into there, I'm just trying to watch out for the, the fruit, man. Like, we don't want to use any more than we have to. So we can probably uh, use the axe to get in there, and then we get two fruit. And hopefully that'll work out. Because otherwise, I don't really know what else we would end up chopping up. Unless we chop our way into here, but then that would give us two fruit and a stick. Alright, let's check our let's check our crafting recipes right here. Because we need... Oh, we need another stick. So I think we have to get into that one. Because otherwise, if we do this, we're just going to end up wasting uh, the fruit. Yeah, all right. Well, even if we don't end up maxing it out or doing absolutely perfect, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's not that big of a deal. So, eh. And then there goes our axe. I think this might have actually been the exact same path that uh, Mariko took, which that's okay. <laughs> So there's the last stick that we needed. Because we need to be able to craft another axe, right? So that we can chop our way through all this stuff. And then, if I'm right, we just eat one of these. And then we can destroy this rock. Eh. And then we grab this fruit, and then these would be recipes for... Um, like, for the other axes, if we didn't have them. I guess you could go to this island with, uh, un underprepared. We probably messed up already, because I was probably supposed to chop that down or something like that, but whatever. Okay, let's craft. So we can craft this first axe right here. I hope that we can craft both of them. Ooh. No, we can't. We're still missing an iron nugget. Okay. Um, where do we actually get said iron nugget? I think it's actually all the way around, isn't it? Because we got to get through that rock right there. Yeah, we do. Okay. And then if we save our axe for that tree that's right at the beginning, then maybe we'll be okay. But I honestly don't know, guys. It's more confusing than you would think, because you gotta, like, get the layout of it all firsthand. But so far, it's working out. And then once we do this, we'll have the axe. And then this is an axe that we've freshly crafted, so we can just use it uh, to chop down the rest of the trees, as far as I know. Uh, I think we gotta go, like, all the way back. This is the one thing that kind of sucks about here, is it's really annoying that you gotta traverse all the way back every single time. <laughs> I mean, it's not that big a deal, but still. I hope I didn't mess it up. I'm, I'm trying to do it all in, like, one clean go is the thing, too. Uh, just so that we don't take too, too much time here. Alright, there we go. So now we can chop down that first tree, get our hands on some extra fruit. And I don't even know if we need to use the shovel anymore, honestly speaking. Does this guess where I need it to? Yeah, okay, so that's just a faster way instead of jumping over all the holes. Eh, eh, eh. Because I think when Mariko did this, I think she used a fruit to shovel her way into here. It's, it's kind of cheaty, like I would have done it too. Uh, it's just because I got to see her play through it. We kind of have the home field advantage, you know? I think we're good. Right? Because now we can just progress. I wonder how you make these holes yourself. Like, I want I want to make them. Because I, I know that you can make traps on your island. Where people uh, will see like a little X on the ground. Just the same as a normal fossil hole. But they can fall into it. Yoink. Unless, maybe you never have enough. Because um, I'm noticing there's those gold tickets right there. Maybe you never have enough fruit. Oh, no, never mind. We just need to use a normal shovel to get in there. All right. Still, really cool place. Uh, you don't get to keep anything outside of, like, 
Mariko is trying to steal the flowers. <laughs> I don't blame her. I want them too. But you don't get to actually keep them for some weird reason. Yas, gimme. Gimme. Even though I don't really need them. Then we can talk to your boy, Catman. I wish we could get this guy to be a neighbor. You made it to the goal. Uh, uh, hey, have you? We met before. You seem kind of familiar. I'm guessing he's like the event character or something. I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately, and I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island. It's a pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here, anyways? Tom Nook sent me. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here, too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. Um, he told me to put together a very interesting attraction on this island, and I should check it out. Uh, but I didn't expect to find a maze. <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, so if you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? It sure does. Neat. Uh, I hear Nook's been putting a lot, ton of work into that place. What was it called again? I mean, we've been putting work into it, but ding, 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 chicken dinner. Hurrah. <laughs> Uh, I knew it. Hey, uh, you're pretty interesting, you know? Yeah, I follow the island folks on Don Don, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you got a name, by the way? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Scooshi, uh? Actually, Sayushi? Uh, well, great name, great name. Uh, I'm glad we met, Skunch. Uh, I want to commemorate this occasion by giving you a gift. All right, what is this? It's so great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I really didn't expect to have this much fun out here. One thing's for sure, I'm hoping fate will bring us again together sometime. So you didn't... another... yeah. Okay. Um... What did he give us? Rover's briefcase. Okay, yeah, so he gave that to Mariko as well. I guess it's just set items and that's it. Weird. Like, I don't know if it's just... Is it just a limited event item and you just can't get it ever again or something like that? I, I don't know. Cool, either way. I, I really like these types of puzzles. I'd love to see uh, if they end up doing something like this in the winter and maybe there's like ice physics. One of my favorite types of puzzles is where you're trying to get through an ice maze and you literally, as soon as you step on the ice, you slide from one direction. So you have to bounce, uh, you have to hit the wall and then choose the direction carefully of where you end up going next kind of thing. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, okay, somehow... I sincerely don't know how we got through this. But whatever, it, it worked out, so we got some extra tickets, which, again, it doesn't make that big of a deal. Like, uh, I'm sure, you know, when Mariko was going through it, she could have just reset the island and do it all over again. But it was like, eh, do you really want to do that again? You know? <laughs> but either way, this these tickets will um, help me to buy all of those items for her on our uh, in our store. Yeah, we're ready to leave. I did it. The maze is a piece of cake put on the air brakes. Seems you have something. Uh, let me get this straight. You got it from someone just happened to be hovering around the island. Well then, Don. Oh, so he's delivering our prizes back to uh, home so that we don't have to. Because uh, he's going to remove every other item from our inventory. Can you let me leave, bud? Tenjo on deck. What's the flight pen? Time to head home, man. Make sure you have all things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good. Uh, the gift you received from your new island friend will send that directly to your house. Same goes for the bell vouchers you might have acquired while here. Find them in your mailbox shortly. Cool. No coming back. Not that there's really much left on your chest checklist. Okay. Yeah, they, they, they do a pretty good job telling you if you've missed anything as well. Anyways, I think that's going to do it, gamers. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel, and have yourselves a great day. Uh, I'll try to figure out how the custom clothing works, and if I figured it out, I'll put it in the description or something. Otherwise, we might have to do it in our episode. We'll see. Bye-bye.